My name is Anthony Waldock and I've been helping develop a UAV uh, which has a morphing wing structures and using machine learning to be able to control those morphing wing structures. Uh, the team comprised of Bristol University and the aerodynamics department there who developed the aircraft uh, and BMT myself who were developing the machine learning part of this, uh, all funded by DSTL. The UAV that we've been developing is a morphing wing aircraft which was inspired by the wings that birds have. So as you can see here on the aircraft, uh, we've got two extra degrees of freedom. One in the centre here, which is a variable sweep wing, so the wings can sweep forward. But we also here on the outer part have a twist, and this is two degrees of freedom that birds have. And this allows us to have the efficiency of a fixed wing aircraft, uh, but the manoeuvrability of something like a quadcopter. And what we looked at was how we could use machine learning to be able to control these new uh, types of wing. The UAV uh, has this morphing wing structure uh, on the wings uh, such that it can do very dynamic maneuvers and one of those is perching. So what it can do is it can come in over the ground, um, it could do a controlled stall at a particular point just above the ground, and it can then touch down with zero velocity at the desired location. What we did was we used machine learning to be able to control how we move those wings through those different stages of flight. We took this aircraft, we modified the wings, so it was a traditional model aircraft to start with, and we introduced this, these two different degrees of freedom, the variable sweep and the twist at the end, and we put it into a wind tunnel, and we collected a whole bunch of data about the aircraft, and then we used that data very much as a game, and we allowed the machine learning to play that game over and over again, and we gave it some objective, which was a kind of a score, and that score allows us to determine how well it's doing. In this case, we wanted it to be able to do a perch landing. And in particular, we wanted that perch landing to be a kind of very minimal velocity at a desired location. And in this instance, we wanted it to be a good orientation. So we don't want it to land upside down. We don't want it to land on the side of the wing. And what we did was we allowed the machine learning to be able to explore that and then it will come up with a particular solution of how it should move its wings to be able to achieve that. And for example, that's typically about 100 different actions it has to do in sequence to be able to achieve that perch landing. And the nice thing about the machine learning is that we don't just get one trajectory, we get a model that allows us to query from anywhere, any starting conditions. So if, for example, you're coming in very fast or you're coming in very slow, how should we best do a landing trajectory to achieve that? And we could encode all of these different mechanisms to say, OK, we want to land here at a particular velocity and orientation. And we actually found that, interestingly, the one that we're really interested in is a very low velocity. So typically, you don't want to land in millimetre accuracy to where you've specified, but you want to land safely. Once we'd asked the machine learning to be able to play this game, it would come up with trajectories on how to be able to do the perch landing. And it would come up with a, a lots of different trajectories and lots of different options. And what we would do is we would show this to the pilots and say, well, OK, what do you think about this type of trajectory? And some of the pilots were kind of like, oh, this is a very interesting trajectory. I'm not sure this is going to how this is going to pan out or whether this is going to fly. Uh, and then we would take it outside uh, and we would do at altitude different tests to see how the aircraft performed. And the aircraft performed very similar to what we had in the simulation. We looked at how it landed on the ground and seeing it come in doing an initial trajectory, bleeding the speed over the tops of the crops as it was then, uh, and doing the perch up at the end to be able to land very close uh, was a very exciting feeling. Um, and certainly there's a lot of different um, work left to be done to be able to get this into a commercial product, uh, but we've, we've validated the approach that we took. What's next? Uh, we'll be looking to work with Bristol University and DSTL. Um, we could apply the machine learning certainly to lots of different types of aircraft um, and we could apply it to lots of different types of manoeuvre as well. So we don't have to stick to just perch landing. We could do, for example, a 90 degree turn in a very uh, confined environment. Uh, we could also extend it to be able to do take in lots of other information. So for example, birds uh, within their feathers have detectors to be able to determine what the airflow is over the wings. 
So one thing we're looking at is how you could take extra information into this to be able to identify when, for example, one of the wings is stalling first, and then to be able to do something about that within the machine learning.